Hi, welcome to another GPC Hammer Source SDK video tutorial brought to you by Abe of GamePublicist.com. By popular demand by the GPC team, today I present to all a fairly simple tutorial on how to make a basic map quickly for the Gears Mod video game. In this video, I'll be covering how to use the block tool, skyboxes, spawn points, and a little coverage on the hollow feature and the camera tool. Plus, we'll use the carve tool to make even your first Gary's Mod map stylish. First, we need to open the hammer editor by going to the tools tab located to the right of the My Games and double clicking Source SDK. If you haven't already downloaded, you'll have to wait for the download to complete. Once inside the Source SDK launcher window, we're going to be using the engine version Half-Life 2 Episode 1 and the current game set to Half-Life 2. Yes, there is a more advanced way to optimize the hammer editor with specific configurations for Gary's mod, but setting up this feature would take nearly 10 minutes alone just to keep the average user from incurring potential configuration bugs. So I would recommend starting this way and searching for a Gmod configuration tutorial once you're more comfortable with the Source SDK tutorial. Now let's get started. Uh, double click the hammer editor under applications and bam now you are inside the hammer editor go to file new and you'll be presented with four window panes you can move them around by clicking the center here um, the top left is your 3d camera view which you can switch the uh, view to 3D shaded textured polygons and you get to see everything. Um, this over here is your top view. This view right here is your side view. This view is your front view. Using these three views you can pretty much model anything. Okay, now using the right bracket and the left bracket you can scale the size of the grid. We're going to scale the grid all the way to the largest size. Um, and to turn an on and off the snap to grid function, press shift W and it will allow you to snap to the grid if it's not doing so currently. Okay, the first thing that we're going to be covering is setting up a skybox. And uh, Gmod maps are usually pretty spacious because people like to build and fly and do all sorts of uh, adventurous things. So we're actually going to make this skybox the entire size of this map right here. Um, first, uh, all we've got to do is go to this box tool right here. We click the box tool and we click up here in the top view and we're going to go from the top left all the way down here to the bottom right making sure not to go outside of this box so now we have a box of 31744 by 31744 and if we move this view here and scroll out with the scroll wheel we'll see that it's very short so we're going to click on this top little bracket there we're going to drag it up and we're going to click on this bottom bracket here and drag it down so now we've got a sky box as soon as we hit enter anyway, that will be completely the size of the map. So go ahead and hit enter. Okay, so now you've got this box made. Um, you can't see it or anything because you're inside the box in the camera view and we're inside a solid which doesn't make much sense at the moment but it will as soon as we go to the make hollow feature which can be located by also pressing control H. Um, so go ahead and make hollow um, I usually use negative numbers if I'm doing a skybox or something, and that way it uh, aligns to the grid when you put stuff inside. So we're just going to do uh, minus 16 is all we need for the skybox, any value, as long as it doesn't go outside the actual window. Okay, so now we made these walls. If you use the scroll wheel here and zoom in, you'll see there's walls right there. Um, and in fact, we've made a six-sided box that now has an open center and to view that we click the camera tool and if we click in one of these views click and drag over you've got the camera aligned and now inside camera you can look around here um, and if you go to tools options you can increase your uh, 
back clipping pane view all the way to 10,000 and uh, model render distance all the way up. Uh, you shouldn't have too many problems unless your computer really sucks. Okay, so anyway, so now we've got this. Uh, we didn't choose a skybox texture, so what we're going to do is click here on the selection tool. Now we're going to click on this box. The Every other wall, including the floor and the ceiling, has been grouped together automatically when we use the carve tool, so we don't have to select each one. We can just select those. I'm going to hit Shift Q to unselect because right now we're going to go to the face edit uh, section which applies materials we're going to click browse and now we're going to type tools sky and we will end up with this tool skies box option and a tool sky fog just click the tool sky box now You'll see if uh, you click mode that you get these options. Just go to apply texture only. Now you can close out of this. Um, and if you use the selection tool and click the box again, now just click this and bam, it applies the skybox feature. Um, the reason I showed you how to do it this way is because for someone getting used to the hammer editor, it's the easiest way to not make a mistake that allows you to truly understand what you're doing. And it colored every box of uh, or every side of the box okay so now we actually have a skybox and if you go to map map properties you can type in your map name whatever you would like it to be you can type in a map description and you can also choose a skybox texture which if you go to your favorite browser and you just type in a uh, sky list uh, in the Google search, the first option that will come up will, in fact, be a sky list. Okay, apparently I don't have an internet connection for this tutorial. That is not a problem. We will just pretend that you went to Google and typed in sky space list, and you found the names of your sky boxes that you can choose from. Um, and for Gary's mod, I think a lot of them won't work that are... Uh, lower down on the listings, but most of the top ones will work, like all the main Counter-Strike map, uh, skyboxes, etc. Um, and so you can go ahead and just hit apply and then close out of this. Okay, so uh, we've covered the camera tool and the block tool. Um, and we've got a map that you could load, but you wouldn't have spawn points and you wouldn't have any solid land. So the next thing we're going to do is give us a nice solid land mass to stand on. And then we're going to add some spawn points. So click your block tool again. You can also do this by uh, hitting, I believe, shift B it is. And, uh, okay, so on your block tool with your top-down editor, let's select this whole thing right here. So we're going to be on the inside this time of the skybox. If you put something that goes through the skybox, you will cause errors. Um, and uh, we don't really want that. So anyway, uh, you'll see these blue lines in the center here. We're going to keep the floor just at that blue line. And then we're going to bring it up and we're going to make it just like this. So when we play stuff, they'll be nicely on that blue line for us. Um, and go ahead and just hit enter. You'll see that in both side views that it's that height. And if we click the camera tool, you can left click and keep it held down and look around. And you can use W, S, A, and D to move around. So now we're going to go down here, and you'll see I've actually made a texture that's a skybox for the landmass we wanted, which is not what we want, but that's no problem at all. Shift Q to deselect. Now click the selected mass that you want to change after going to browse first. People love the... Uh, the grass texture. So if you just type in grass and filter, you'll get a bunch of grass textures. Um, this is my most favorable is the grass floor 002A. Um, and you can just close out of this. Now if you click this X here that's associated with that floor and click the texture tool, it is now textured for us. And uh, I'm not sure where the camera's at. Oh, it's way under. You can click that uh, little circle to move the actual camera view, and you can change the focal point by clicking the end of it. 
So anyway, so if we go back to the 3D view, we'll now see we have a nice grass floor. Thanks for watching, and be sure to join us at GamePublicist.com to find the continuation of these tutorials.